<laughs> Hello and welcome back. My name is Cindy and today we're going to do something slightly different. My wedding bouquet has arrived today. I thought I'll share this in the video just because there are so much things going on and I think one of you have asked about my bouquet so I thought I'd make this video. Anyway, it has arrived today. It was quite a big process so I'm going to go through everything. Before I unbox it, I'm going to tell you all the timeline and essentially what was going through my mind when I was thinking about wedding bouquets because they're quite pricey and this was not cheap either but i cannot explain to you how excited i am so what kind of wedding bouquet did i want i definitely wanted something floral i wanted something long lasting because i didn't like the idea of splurging money on something that was going to die so that was a huge thing for me and that's why artificial flowers kind of came in straight away i was going to do my own research and purchase my own individual artificial flowers but I'm going to be honest, given the time, given the amount of planning that needs to be done around it, I'm not sure if I got that time to spare. So I did some research, well, very minimal research because the amount of times Hidden Botanic advertised, I mean, it's in my face all the time. So I basically went out and asked them. So this is the timeline. On September the 6th, I sent them an inquiry about how much are they in terms of like a custom bouquet. And they actually asked for some pictures, some inspirations. So I sent them some of the pictures. If you're asking me like what kind of bouquet I wanted, flowers, alive flowers, something that is beautiful to look at i wasn't into the whole tiny little bouquets i think they look beautiful i think it really shows off the dress when you do have something like that but for me i'm like the bigger the better <laughs> big luscious florals was what i was going for so these are some of the pictures that i sent them and then after a while i found like one account on instagram that i absolutely adore so i ended up sending them even more flowers and they gave me a quote i've also asked them how much boutonniere were going to cost as well and i got a quote for 19 pounds personally i don't think it's terrible but when you have a groom and four groomsmen and given the fact they're not going to be so into flowers it seems i don't know uh, I wasn't too keen about spending £100 that no one's going to love. So the quote that I got for the custom bouquet was about 245 which is actually insane, I know. But when I found out how much florist was going to charge, I thought, you know what, it's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I do understand it's a lot. An insane amount in terms of like, if you just went to Tesco's and bought something all at Walmart, somewhere like there and bought some flowers and put them together. Yeah, you can get it done in under like £10. But I really wanted something that I could basically have forever so that was my key bit here i really wanted something that i could have forever and also the flowers the flowers that i liked i found out very early on they weren't exactly the cheapest so i would probably have to go to a florist to get my kind of dream bouquet if you like because i am that person annoyingly that either i get the dream stuff or I get nothing at all. Like I would just walk down the aisle without a bouquet. I've actually thought about it. That has gone through my mind. Given everything, that was the 6th of September. They're very, very fast at responding. And essentially, once I've paid, which was a total of £261, not the cheapest. Now, they did ask me when my wedding was, and I told them it was the 17th of April, 2024. And they told me that everything would arrive two months before the wedding two months before the wedding so i don't actually know in terms of timeline it seems like everything arrives before whenever your wedding is so at least you need to give it two months i would say i think i overbooked it too soon but that's just me anyway so on the 14th of february i got an email from georgia from hidden botanics and she's the one who's going to be making my bouquet it was perfect because it arrived on the 14th of february i just thought it was a really nice touch whether or not it was just coincidence i mean i'm pretty sure it was just coincidence but Hey, I was pretty happy on that day, I'm not gonna lie. But essentially she gave me my first mock-up. Now, it was a beautiful mock-up, it was a beautiful bouquet. I have to say it was, I felt it was a little bit different from the stuff that I've been sending them. I don't know whether it was just because I'm a picky person. I've learned throughout this process that I am pretty picky and it actually took Will to tell me that I am pretty picky for me to even realize that I am a very picky person, but essentially, for some reason in my head i was expecting something that was exactly the same as the floral bouquets that i've been sending them not that i knew which one they were going to go for because i'm going to be honest they look like a mess in terms of the styles and everything it was definitely something that i could work with and honestly i quite liked it i didn't love it 
obviously, but it was quite good for a mock-up. So essentially what I said was that I didn't particularly love the blue flowers. I do love the pinks, the purples, the reds, the fuchsia. Fuchsia was definitely a colour that I really wanted because in terms of the whole wedding, I don't get to put that much fuchsia in it because Will's suit is going to be green and fuchsia is quite close to red and if you put green and red together you get christmas so i really did not want that for the wedding so the theme is very much sage green but i really wanted some fuchsia in there i really wanted something that i don't say makes me happy but sometimes you know when you go through instagram and you see people like their theme is fuchsia and your heart just skips a beat it's so it just draws me in and it makes me so happy. So, I don't know, it's just something about the colour that I absolutely adore. So that's essentially what I told her. Don't be scared to add fuchsia in. I love that colour. I also asked whether it can have a slight flat back. Basically, when you have a bouquet, there's there's a back side of it and you basically put that against your body but at the same time i also wanted it to be flat back because afterwards i would like to hang it on a wall and some of you probably have already seen this but this this is hideous i get it don't worry don't come at me but it's it's a rough idea what i'm trying to do i would like to eventually be able to put my i need to redo this is what i'm saying i would like to get to a point where i could put my bouquet on this with a little vase and that will be my decoration piece my wall art if i could say it like that so that's the idea that i have i also told her that i love the ranunculus i'm not sure if that's a way to say it and peonies they are my absolute favorite flowers i did also say that i would like the bouquet to be a little bit sparse i wasn't sure exactly what's the best way to say it but loose loose and sparse just kind of like bursting out bursting out of flowers something along that line at the same time i sent her another one because that is how difficult i am uh, i told her can we also remove the orange as well she basically responded straight away saying that everything is all good she really likes the idea and that uh, basically whenever she's ready she will send me what she has done so essentially i asked her to keep all the colors of white pinks fuchsias reds basically all of that pinkish hue colors and also some purples as well because i like i like purple too so that is what i've done there was like one blue color that i actually quite like as well so she asked me to send her what i mean by loose in terms of the bouquet so i sent her these two images i wasn't entirely sure what i mean by loose in the second one but it was from their website and it was that bouquet that made me reach out to them because i love that bouquet so much i thought it was stunning but I also love the one that I got now. So when I say loose, I think the first picture really says it all. There's lots of flowers. Wild is probably the actual word for it. Now, she came back to me on the 15th and she's basically removed all the blues, removed all the kind of colors that I wasn't a huge fan on. And it was a lot closer. I don't know what it was, but it was a lot closer and there was a lot more fuchsia in it. And I loved fuchsia. <laughs> I love fuchsia so much. So this is the bouquet that she showed me. She asked me whether I liked it. What do we need changing? And it was so close. It was so close. I knew we were definitely going towards the right direction because I loved it even more. And I am someone who, I don't say struggle to know what I love, but at the same time, I struggle to know what I love. So it was definitely getting closer. So the next thing I did was I actually took my iPad and basically circled all the ones that I love in turquoise and all the ones I want to replace with the blues and then color coded them. And essentially... The turquoise ones are the ones that I absolutely love. The blues are the ones that I'm like, meh, get rid of, please. And then the orange were basically when they were too kind of uh, squished and I wanted to see them out a bit more. So that was the way we did it. She told me she loved that way because she knew exactly how to do it. And I was so pleased because I wasn't sure whether it was too much control. I never know. I never know. But this, the third prototype, that is when it was mm, just beautiful so this was the third prototype it was essentially perfect it was just the tiniest little tweaks so this is what i mean by i didn't realize i was picky until at this point because at this point will was like it looks perfect and i'm here thinking eh, there's there's just something i would like to just 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 a tiny willing bit so i did the same thing i circled them all up there was the orange one that i needed to bring out just a little bit the blue circle i wanted to replace that with some purpley flowers instead i didn't really want the orange flower it's a nice flower but i didn't i didn't know it was just i just want a bit more purple after that was all done she sent me the final one and i loved it it was it was perfect what i found as well was that i judge everything by the way she holds it so when she holds it 
down at her belly button. That's the way that I imagined what I would be doing on the day. Because when it comes to other photos, they look a bit more squished, they look different. And I found that if you just focus on how she's holding it against her body, that is what it's gonna look in photos much easier so that's how i basically judged it she also mentioned that if she took the orange one that i want the one that i asked her to like take it out just a little bit she said if she takes it out too much it looks a bit funny so i trust her it looks amazing that was pretty much it and essentially she shipped it off the next day and that was friday yesterday and then today saturday and i didn't know it was gonna arrive literally today so that was my ramble in terms of hidden botanics we are going to unbox this i am so excited i'm scared as well she did mention as well is that if it arrives slightly funny don't be afraid to like pull them out or like adjust them because you can do that as well so there's also that obviously handle with care dried flowers in clothes i'm very excited i can't believe it's arrived so i don't have any scissors with me so i'm going to be using one of these i really hope i didn't just like rip some flowers in there Okay, 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 so let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, 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 okay. This is what it looks like so far. I don't know why I'm showing you this because it's literally just a box. Let me move this out of the way. We got my name, Cindy, and also I think this is the reference. Also got, thank you. So I'm actually a bit nervous. But the thing is, I have seen it when Georgia has done it, so I'm not that nervous, but at the same time, I'm a bit scared. It looks like a little heart. Look at that. That looks like a heart. I think this is the way to do it. Okay, so. All right, that's the bottom. I should be a bit careful. Okay, I love wrapping paper. Okay, so this is this is the bouquet. Definitely has a flat back because that is very flat. Okay, all right. First impressions. <laughs> oh gosh, I already ripped it. I mean, it is just tissue, so it should be okay. I will have to wrap it up a bit more because it's still a little bit early. I mean, my wedding isn't until. April 17th and this is the 2nd of March so okay so this is what this is what it looks like oh my gosh how does that look on camera okay first thought Oh, some of them actually feel like, I don't want to say feel real, but some of them actually feel a bit, they don't look that um, synthetic. I will say if you look closer, then yeah, you're going to be able to tell it is synthetic. But honestly, in terms of just a bridal bouquet, something to look nice in pictures, I think it looks quite nice. I definitely can kind of poke some of them out, but I quite like it like this. I can't see it. I'm going to use the mirror. Excuse me, that. Oh, I definitely felt like the way she held it was perfect. I don't know how she did it, but you know what? I, I'm quite happy with this. This is quite good. This is it. This is it. This is my bridal bouquet. What are your thoughts? I'm going to be honest that you can tell they are synthetic. I'm not going to sit here and pretend. You know what? They look real to me. No, no, no. They do look synthetic. If people walk past it, I think they will know that it is synthetic. But it's from afar, you can't really tell. And in photos, you definitely cannot tell. I mean, that was one of the things that I did love. I've noticed I also got some dried flowers as well. So I think I got a mixture of dry flowers and artificial flowers. So I was quite happy with that. To be fair, I wasn't too... I didn't want it to be 100% dry flowers because I knew that's kind of what it would be, which is fine. But I wanted my bouquet to look alive at the same time. But it's a very hefty amount. It's a hefty bouquet. I think that is definitely something that needs to be said. Very hefty. There are some dry flowers at the back. We've got a little daisy here, which I thought was so cute. I didn't, I've never seen this from the back as well. So I've only seen it from the front. I think it looks beautiful. It is so, so nice. I really, really like it. I even like the blue one here. I did ask Will, is the blue one nice? Should we get rid of it? And honestly, it does add to it. It does make it a lot more realistic. So 
This is my bridal bouquet. Do I think it's worth it? I think, honestly, if you're expecting something real, don't bother. Go to a florist because for that price, you could probably go to a florist as well. But if you want your bouquet to last long and basically like me, like use it as a display afterwards, I think it's well worth it. You save a lot of time, a lot of accidents, I would say, by going through this route. Otherwise, you have to go through your own research, finding different flowers for different florals. And honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the time and effort. At the same time, you're gonna really hope that you can do something like this. Like this is something that I know I wouldn't be able to do. This is too much for me to, you know, be creative about, if that makes sense. So, I really like it. It's a shame there's a little mark here. Just a little bit, but like I said, I am that fussy. <laughs> but yes, I really like it. I think this is beautiful. This I'm very, very happy about this. This is so nice. <gasps> I just need, sorry. Honestly, I really, really like this. Another thing I've noticed as well is that if you're not happy with like certain things, you can just arrange it yourself. They don't seem to cut the stem, which is quite nice. But it's just so nice. It's, it's a very, very bloom bouquet. Anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. Let me know what's your thoughts. Do you like this or not? I personally really like this. It was a really nice journey to actually go and talk to people and actually talk about what kind of things you like. It just made the whole experience a little bit more special than just going off and buying a random bouquet, if that makes sense. So that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I'm more than happy to answer them. Hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next video. Bye.